Chris here from Canopy Crypto and AI. We'd like to cover AI builders today and specifically cover the top three that I've used and tested in detail. And they are ChatGPT, Replit, and Lovable. Now, some of these worked out better than others, and I do have limited to intermediate coding experience with basic MySQL, PHP, a little bit of JavaScript, but I'm not I'm not a full-time developer, I'm a hack. And I think it kind of helps to have some base level knowledge for most of these AI builders. Because when things go wrong, and they do, uh, you definitely need to fall back on some knowledge and at least be able to manage, you know, API keys and setting up basic, um, yeah, basic testing systems and development systems and have some knowledge, but um, not to shy away from it. So I'll start with um, Lovable, which um, I'm I'm kind of lukewarm on. I'm probably, it's, it's probably my least favorite, to be honest. Um, and I really like Replit and ChatGPT is somewhere in the middle, depending on your skills. So, uh, but Lovable is, you know, basically easier to learn and it's great for non-coders. Um, I am making a, basically a home building project estimator. So for a homeowner that wants to say, you know, cost out a deck, how much does it cost? Um, add their information for, uh, a Canadian address or province and uh, get an estimate. So Lovable did a basic UI. I mean, in terms of their UI, I think it's very basic. It's it's not quite as refined as Replit, for example. Um, and I can show you, you know, this is, this is Replit. And even in the UI, um, Replit has done yeah, a pretty good job of making everything really professional and tidy and the code tight. Um, Lovable does meet the requirements, but um, it's a bit more basic. It's kind of more um, kind of entry level coder kind of looking and some of the, you know, the details are kind of janky. It, it just, it, it does okay, but um, I really find Replit in terms of UI and design um, much better and much more professional looking. Again, like there's some, you know, just it it knows how to set up tables. It's got a footer. It knows how to set up a home page, buttons. Everything is all the colors are um, nicely picked. I mean the the shading on the backgrounds, how it treats photos and sizes them rounds the corners i mean replit is just pro level um but it's all not it's not roses and candy for replit um so you know in terms of ui i i say basically replit wins um with my limited testing with lovable but i i'm more heavily into replit um not to say there's some issues with replit for sure um i've had a lot of nightmares after spending tons of time you know memory times out um i've had to re reload i got quite frustrated and had to reload a project that got too big and gnarly um it's always a good idea to deploy often and also download your code which you can do in both um you can do in, in both of these apps but um so yeah there's lovable there's you know and it in terms of cost um it's about 20 bucks, 25 bucks a month for Replit. Um, Lovable, I believe, is a little bit um, cheaper per month. And But again, you kind of get what you pay for. Um, it's definitely, yeah, so here's uh, pricing comparison. Uh, Lovable, oh, sorry. I guess Lovable is for the Pro. It is you get you get you know a basic one agent limited use, but for the pro it's thirty nine dollars a month pro, and then um, yeah for Replit it's basically ten dollars. Well, I'm talking Canadian for me, but I think this is U.S. Um, and uh, but again, I've I've for the Replit I've gone up to the twenty dollars per month um, pretty quickly, and it gives you hosting. 
So that's, you know, that's another thing to think about. Um, the other thing I did too was I, I often um, just use ChatGPT raw and ask it to do React and front end coding for me. And for quick and dirty stuff, if you've just got, I've got like a search engine, um, you know, that's basically, it's got one API called the ChatGPT. It's like, you know, hey, here's an AI project assistance. Yeah, build me a shed. And it's, you know, you want next steps. Simple one page. You can do this in ChatGPT. You ask for an UI, JavaScript, React. Um, it'll, you know, make it, give it some colors. It'll give you some building advice, right? So this is, uh, and I even put um, a little link to some Amazon um, products, you know, with my affiliate commission uh, code for commission. So you can make a bit of money maybe doing that or to pay for the hosting anyway, not a lot of money. But um, ChatGPT can give you basics, a one pager. But if you want um, something that's, you know, more of an app and it's got professional quality, you know, client facing stuff, I mean, boom, Replit is there all the way. Again, with a caveat that Replit, you take, it's a longer process, takes more patience. It does host. I mean, this is hosted. You add your own uh, subdomain and it'll be a dot replit dot app. So um, I did that for my, and I'll leave a link in the description of um, this, this app just to check it out. It's not finished, but um, it's pretty much working, I think. So, yeah, I mean, you know, like this is like start your estimate, you know, it's like, tell me about your project. I want to, okay, um, finish a basement, drywall, and paint my basement with framed bathroom, I don't know, whatever. Um, say 600 square feet, my budget, where do I live, Toronto, where do I want to start as soon as possible. So um, yeah, here's the project summary, generate detailed estimate. And you know, this took a little bit of testing, but basically within two or three iterations, with Replit, I had this, like, breaks down materials for my estimate, labor. I mean, it makes all these assumptions based on AI. God knows where it gets them from. But um, it's for the Canadian market. Costs are, you know, gives you notes. I mean, this is pro. Like, this is, like, high-end app stuff that you, I mean, it took me, you know, five, ten minutes of prompting, some messing around, probably half an hour total to kind of get this the way I wanted it after just adding some revisions. Um, and it's not polished, finished, but I mean, half an hour for an app that's does all this stuff. And then it's like, uh, okay, let's, once you've done a project, let's find some contractors. And I hooked it up to the um, an API, um, Google Places API, and it's, it's still got some more testing to do, but, um, yeah, I mean, this is pretty cool. Um, oops, I sent a contact, a, to, I contacted some contractor. But anyway, yeah, you're going to need more testing. It's probably a couple of hours to get it refined and ready to go. But um, and then you can host your own domain and, and go crazy. Um, again, so going all the way from bare bones, ChatGPT, one pager, to somewhere in the middle, like, you know, this is the UI is not as nice. Some of the functions work, but this is all test data. It didn't really pick up my API. Like lovable was not great at, at sort of filling in the, the blanks. And then um, all the way to Replit where it's like preview pane. Again, you know, this takes a lot of memory and they use, uh, you know, there's lots of nodes going on in the background with Replit and if things go wrong, even their support couldn't help me a lot. But, um, Man, they are pretty amazing for um, the quality that you get. So I'd go, if you're a developer pro, definitely use Replit. If you're starting out, you're scared of going into code, HTML, you know, worries you, then try Lovable. It'll get you something quick and dirty, functional probably. You just have to 
you know, do a bit of testing. But um, and then if you have something really small and specific, you know, go to ChatGPT and just generate a React front end JavaScript. Boom, boom. You got to know what you're doing. So, yeah, hope that helps. I definitely, um, you know, I think still also Replit does hosting. I think that's a plus and um, so does Lovable. But um, check out the costs. They are, you know, not far off each other, but they, you know, they go up to Lovable goes up to, you know, $100 a month quickly. It seems like Replit's even a better deal. Um, you know, it's uh, already plugged into um gpt and everything else so yeah replit's good value um and it's super powerful so that's my pick replit even though the support's not great you're kind of on your own you got to kind of know some coding uh don't go into this without coding knowledge um if you're you know looking at replit but um if, if you if you hate code go to lovable get something quick and dirty and uh yeah hope this helps let me know in the comments thanks